Hello everybody, welcome back to City Skylands. My name is Ben Pope, and this is the city of Beckenburg. And we've all been working on it. Um, there's, our sh there's actually a bit of footage that um, hasn't been captured. Uh, I've been toying around with how everything is working now that I have um, a new video card in. And um, this episode we're going to focus on two areas here. Uh, so I've been adding things to these areas without you guys seeing but pretty much we put in um, a medium football stadium it's sort of like European you know football something you would see in England somewhere um, that sort of style it could be anywhere else in Europe but the, I think the architecture is actually um, I forget exactly which stadium it's based on. But yeah, that doesn't matter. So here's our uh, sort of... Um, uh, what am I trying to call it? Like some sort of a tourist area. And we're going to expand it. Um, so you see I have the recreational use here, which moderately increases tourism. Makes it so people come out here and visit these places. The stadium and the Space Needle. I'll probably put in a train station. Uh, as soon as I can and um, we're also going to give a boost to decoration I forgot about that and I think I gave business benefactors uh, so they increased their sales and uh, high-tech housing there's some housing there too um, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, name this uh, district I'm gonna go with all capital letters. Kassam District. Kassam is a YouTuber, Kassam187. Um, I'll link his channel in the description. He is pretty much one of the uh, guys that have supported my channel and he deserves a district in the city since I've been, um, you know, doing that. I've been putting people's names in, like, Jeremy here and um, Jan over there and also Athena Rose yeah and the other district I'm gonna name is this one and we're gonna have to extend it a little bit um, but this one's gonna be uh, it's it's an office area so let's say it's a big corporation that's gonna take over and um, it's Dra Dragonheart Incorporated so Dragonheart Inc um, Dragonheart the Prince of Wales is another uh, youtuber who has been very supportive of um, everyone really not just my channel and he does a lot of work to um, to help the community, he uh, he set up a small community. It's actually not that small anymore. It's gotten over a hundred. Um, I know what I'm trying to say. Members. It's gotten over a hundred members, and everybody has everybody that's a member is a Total War fan or YouTuber of some kind. Um, we don't have any of the big YouTuber, Total War YouTuber na names in there, uh, but that's okay. We, you know, we're gonna have this community uh, that's led by the mighty Dragonheart himself. And let's see, I think we're gonna do, this is business benefactors, industrial, We're gonna go to high tech housing for the housing that's here. And there's uh, it's gonna be something for offices. Little tax raises. Uh, I think we're gonna keep that how it is. Um, if I don't have enough land value around the area, then I can increase, I can click this and it will increase the land value but also the budget that I'm spending there. I'm still making a ton of money, so I don't... 
and see why we can't and we want our city to be looking good right uh, all this area is building obviously the buildings come out as level one housing uh, and then they increase from there and the way this works is oh, you just saw there that land just kind of shapes around where a building can be placed uh, there won't be any buildings here because I have this walkway uh, I'm gonna go through in and show off some of the parks I got from the steam workshop uh, like this is a pretzel stand and it's already got visitors uh, somebody with a car and a scooter passed by just now uh, these are all uh, this needs power in it. It's nothing close to it. Do I have? Ah, uh, yes. I should probably zone in some stuff. Um, it says I need more commercial. So let's put in some commercial. I don't know where. Let's put in some high-end commercial over here. And it's not high end, it's just high density. And then we're gonna put in more offices. Mm -hmm. I do want this to be commercial there. I'm gonna put in offices here just to connect the power to everything. Um, this can be commercial. I also want to sort of sneak in behind here with the road and put something in, so I'll have to w decide where I want to come in from. Possibly... Oh, this intersection's <laughs> getting backed up a little bit. What do you guys think? Alright, let's put in more uh, residential here too, because we need it. Uh, so obviously this is not full of um, housing and things, but that's because I'm still working on it. I wonder if there's a couple of spots there, maybe I can put some parks in instead. Um, so it makes sense to have, um, you know, housing for the people that work here in Dragonheart Inc. and they're gonna have you know waterfront housing and they'll be happy with that there are uh, I'm guessing there'll be some offices and 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 commercial over here as well I'm gonna have to figure out why my mouse keeps skipping oh look at that that's nice blob I kind of want to do that I kind of want to put those... Yeah, let's put those offices. Uh, see how big office they can make. Maybe they'll make like a whole 10 by 10 office. That'd be kind of cool. Alright. So, here we go. Let's just fit in a bit more of this. I need more commercial from what it says. And this area is getting plenty of... Uh, services from um, hospitals and police stations and stuff that are over here in the university area. Uh, mm -hmm. I also want to bring in the train station. It's probably going to go over here. And yeah, I need to figure out a way to get the tracks all the way down. I don't really want to bring them down on the water, so we'll have to see. Maybe I will. Maybe, just maybe. Um. Yeah, let's make this chunk housing. And get a chunk of commercial. And let's do residential here and offices on this side offices are good on the side to block uh, noise from 
highway and such. Sweet. Uh, we're almost all, all zoned in. Hmm. Is that, did I just do? You know what, I don't even want this to be commercial. Get out of there. I want it, I want it to be... Gonna right click to remove everything and uh, make it be residential. Because I could put commercial on... Uh, yeah. What are you? Convenience store. Aren't you gonna move? Okay. Maybe he'll move. Let's put commercial over here. And also... Let's just paint in this commercial area. I don't want the whole chunk. Of course I could have painted it in... You know... This with... Yeah, the residential first. Okay. So uh, you see the l roads here, I try to make it so I fill up as much of the gaps as possible. There's obviously some that are going to be left. Um, and you can't really put a road in there without messing up the, the four, um, four square thing, if that makes any sense. Alright, so let's make that offices. So we're gonna keep an eye out <coughs> on this area. Here's another little park I placed. It's a, it's a mini pool. I, you know, whoever made the park... Uh, actually could have done a better job. I was gonna say, they did a good job as far as getting the park done. But it looks like it's sinking in the ground here. Uh, but just didn't name it correctly, so uh, maybe I won't use it very much. Uh, my favorite is... I don't know if it's my favorite, but... Uh, the Superstitious Park. Uh, his description is... What? Right, so he just couldn't find any 3x3 parks, so he made some. And it looks pretty good, so that's why I got it. This is a plaza. I think my favorite is the funky one over here. Monumental Flora Park. And of course the pretzel stand. Uh, there also is a public restroom. Did I put down a public restroom? Don't think I did. This one. Let's see, we kind of want the public restroom by all this madness, don't we? Like, by the metro station would be perfect. That means I have to take down some, some buildings. Maybe I'll take down some of the park, some of the car parks. <laughs> oh boy. Here, what are you guys? Home Improvement Center? Hmm. There's plenty of general stores and things. <coughs> yeah, let's do, just because I can, let's put in a public restroom over here. So we can see it. 
Um, it's obviously not like a super awesome public restroom. Uh, maybe I can still can zoom in, in closer. But you know what? It'll do. It's a public toilet. It should help our um, land value, I hope. Though it doesn't seem like it's really improved much over here because of the noise from the highway and stuff. Um, this is looking better with land value. Um, we'll probably have to put in a bunch more trees and things. Let's see, we have space here for a couple of parks. I think this is... Oops. We'll do a mini park. No. Still mini park over there, and I think I have a three by three park here, and then we're gonna put in some um, some offices here, just because I feel like they should, you know, have a say. Um, this area could be a another park. Office as it is. So I'll have to keep an eye out on this district to see if the quality of life or land value goes up. Um, and it looks like it's doing that in the center. The high tech housing is helping too. And this should help here a little bit. Park is neat. I don't know. Am I weird for having fun looking at you know people's creations? I mean, you know, you can go in and create any building like that. Space Needle was not in the game. They created that. They put it in. Um, but then you look at the buildings that were created, and they're also beautiful. Um, I seem to have trouble navigating through them. There's reflections in the windows. Uh, it's brilliant. Um, the stadium is spot on. If we go over to our uh, busiest area here, the tall buildings, uh, there's reflections in them too. You see over here on the left. Just beautiful. Beautiful. And it's a well done game, it works. You have to, you know, supply them with what they need and they figure out how to get around. Yeah, our highway system is working a lot better because uh, if you haven't watched the last episode, we put in all these entrances and exits around to continue the highway. I had to modify this loop. Um, and. I don't think I have, yeah, I don't have a exit and entrance from one highway to another coming this way. So that's that, I'll have to fix that, which is easy to do. And here's our I industrial area. And even these places look pretty cool. All greedy and looks like um, the Williams company has taken over this land though. These four buildings I see right here, all the same. And a few more. Uh, that is also Williams. Yeah, it's it's Williamsville. Cool. So that's the cargo train, and this is the passenger train. Passengers can take the metro, 
right away and get to this area with the metro because there's a fancy metro station. I can get down to it. There it goes. There's all the people coming out in the metro. I'm trying to zoom in, not bounce around, guys. Come on. Ah, not gonna do it. Yay, that's better. As soon as I go over close to a tree, it will just bounce me a little bit. Yeah, so that. Oh gosh. I'm gonna stop doing that. I'm almost on the, sp on the space needle now. So the metro closer to the stadium, I thought that was brilliant. Alright, let's see what we can do. We can definitely. Actually, let's, let's do that highway uh, fix. Because that's easy. So we're going to have an exit. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not just have it straight like that? That's simple. And... this to connect to here like so okay and then we need oh, I need from here to get going that way don't I oh no I wait I have one I have one going that way over there I think that's fine then. If I have this exit in the industry area. No, actually that's not fine. That's not fine at all. We should probably do... Yeah, why don't we... Why don't we take a left? Because that looks like it's a mess over here to do another one. So we're gonna. Uh, can you go in between these? There we go. Uh, we're gonna probably. Oh snap! I think we need to climb up a few notches here. And again. Do I have enough space to land the... This might not work, people. This might not work. Okay. Uh, let's scratch all of that. Not quite all of it, but... Gonna go there, and then we're gonna go... Come on. Space is occupied, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> this is why it's fun. Don't you think? Okay, let's go. Down on the ground this way. Let's 
that's in the way. Okay, I know this is hard to see. This is hard to watch. But we're gonna make it happen. Let's do a turn. And then most likely I wanna be up come up here, so there. That's the ugliest thing you could do, but um Oh also what I did is I went the wrong way with this. Ugh. Okay. Yeah, fixed. <laughs> and there's some frowns because you put in a new exit. Sweet. Okay, let's look at our um, global view. It's not even really global. I wonder when I can. Let's see, next unlock. 26,000 population. I'll get a new area. I have access to ships, cargo, and harbor. That sounds like a good, uh, a good reason to wait to get this block here, and then I could bring the train. Um, the train. That that's it. Just the train line, and <laughs> then the train tracks this way, and then stop in the Kassam's district. I don't have a better way of bringing that together in this way now. Uh, looks like our landfills are full, so we can probably use more incinerators. It isn't pretty that we have, you know, incinerators right here, close to the downtown area. But that's. That's what that is. It'll have to work. What are you complaining about? Low land value. Abandoned. Well, uh, there's a park right next to you. There's all these other fancy houses. Look, that person doesn't have a problem with land value. Same with that. I guess you were just... Something's on fire. No! No! <laughs> it's okay guys, it's okay. I have mod installed that auto bulldozes abandoned buildings as far, uh, and also buildings that are on fire. There's plenty of firefighters around to take care of the flames. Um, so, as you can see, building is there it should oh actually it didn't get destroyed so it just got fixed and organic food market is back I like it you guys like it I like the way this looks I like city creation games yay So I guess uh, that's gonna come to an end, this episode's gonna come to an end and for next time we're planning on uh, reaching that 26,000 population, I'll make sure my speed is going fast. And um, we're gonna build in this area, I th believe there are resources there, yeah there's oil. So we can make an oil industry and bring the train around to park it, you know, over by the Kassam district and um, it should be good if I need more uh, residential area I have this area here still to work with and um, 
Yeah. Perhaps I can even change this around to make more use of that land. And I also want to possibly maybe draw a road from here. But it doesn't seem like it's going to really do it. I don't really want to make another intersection. I might though. You can also do this. It will, it will take down some people's stuff. But um, yeah. I I'm okay, I'm okay with these uh, five six way intersections. Sometimes it's a backup of cars. Uh, the only really the only roundabout I have is still this one, which is doing a lot better as far as keeping traffic flowing, um, cars coming from the freeway and going in and out of the city areas. Yeah. Okay, let's see how our waterfront is doing. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, so let's let's um grab a view. I don't know how we're gonna grab a view. Oh, cloudy out there today. See that? Alright. Maybe, maybe that's a good view. Oh, I could probably do something like this. Woohoo! Um. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna grab a view from this side. Looking that way. Somehow. Maybe even get the space needle in it. Yeah, and that's gonna be my ending screen. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do comment and hit the like button, subscribe if you like my content on the channel, and if you're not already subscribed, um, any sort of support helps, and I thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye!